Alright, I'm going to start by showing you the SWR, which I don't mean to scare you off if you don't know what SWR is, but um, you're going to learn if you want to get into radio. So this is almost a perfect SWR for the antenna that I made with parts that I found at home that were lying around, plus a coax cable which you can buy at a truck stop. Let's go look over here. Simply an extension cord with a ground. I cut the cut the the ground wire off here. So we've got two cords. The length is determined from here to the plug. Uh, I've cut this wire too long, you know, so I didn't know I didn't know how long it needed to be exactly. It was it's it's basically an experiment. So you change the length and you tape it and you wrap it up. You don't have to cut the extra off. So very simple, very simple construction. Uh, you know, this is some electrical tape. Let's come over here. These are some gator clips, which you don't even have to do. You can solder straight to the plug here, very simply. So, but uh, I'm gonna unhook this. I already showed you the SWR. I showed you that this is a resonant antenna on on uh, CB band 11 meters. Let's go inside. Follow me, follow me. Okay, so coax cable. It's, it's the most important link to the whole thing here. We have right here a PL259 connector. It is a two-part connector. And can you zoom in on the solder joints here? I'm going to always recommend the solder joints versus the crimp connectors. Um, it's just going to give you a better connection. Same reason why I soldered the gator clips onto my coax. Here. Not a whole lot, but I got solder in here. You can see here, it just provides a better connection. And you want the best connections you can get. So our PL259 connector, you're going to need some of these. And here I have a piece of coax. Let's zoom in right here. Coax is very simple. It is essentially some shielded wire. Um, this is how you're going to connect to an antenna. This, this is what it looks like when you cut into it. You simply pull all this stuff apart. Now you never want this to touch this. It will short out and your antenna won't work. But let's look. Very simple. Very simple. You just keep those separated. So, RG213 the best is LMR 400. These links for the PL259 connector here and the coax cable that you need for your radios, whether it's whether you're running a Bearcat, whether you're running a Yaesu FT891 or a uh, ICOM 7300. These are the coax cables you'll want to purchase. Now, the reason you would get this RG13, which is a little lower grade than the LMR400, is this LMR400 is very big. The RG213 is a little smaller. It has more radius uh, that it will bend. See, this this stuff, you're not supposed, if you kink it, you'll destroy it. So, uh, it, the RG213 is going to be more flexible than the LMR400. Okay. On your antennas, when you build an antenna, now this information is specific to CB radio, but with a little learning, and I'm going to show you in the book here in a second, it will apply to all radio, uh, all radio frequencies. So if the SWR on 40 is higher than 1, your wire is too long. 
and simply just like outside you shorten your wire up a little bit let's switch it around if the SWR on one is higher than 40 it's too short you need to lengthen it always cut your antenna wire longer than you need and adjust it down it's just more simple than adding wire so let's open up this book. I'm going to dump some information on you. I don't expect you to retain all of this, but you're going to have it in the video. You can pause the video. Let's just look at this book here. These are the operating frequencies and antenna links that you'll need that you can make out of an extension cord. Just like I had outside. 160 meter. That's a nighttime band. All right, I'm trying to hold still. It's 80 meter. This is going to be your local networks. 300 miles. Call this your statewide band right here. Good for afternoon, morning, nighttime. This is the band that you need to get on. This is where all the traffic is at. This is a day and night mix band. 40 meter right here. All right, now we're getting into our long distance. This is nationwide communication right here. This is your antenna links. Again, this is one leg. You'll notice we had a black wire and a white wire. Each one of those wires link will correspond with the single wire total overall length this side so real simple here and again when you decide what you want come back to this 17 meter this is more long distance this is uh, you know transcontinental stuff this is uh, I want to talk to Japan from California or I want to talk to New York from LA 15 meters, same thing, long distance communication. Now you notice these antennas are getting smaller and smaller. A dipole is a half wave antenna. You don't need to know what that means. Okay, citizen band, right here. This is very important, here we go. This is local AM communication and uh, regional. Uh, now when I say regional you can still get a thousand miles on a CB radio with sideband so the information is in this video there's a lot here to absorb uh, pause the video make notes of this uh, links for the connectors and the coax are gonna be in the description uh, coax cable is the most important link to your whole system. Good connectors, good coax cable, good signal. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Let me turn around. Oh.